Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where you are. I hope you're having a fantastic day. This is Greg from The Dapper Man. I'm going to uh, be talking about this uh, the cigar here is from Rocky Patel, the Super Super Leggero, uh, Leggero type of, it has to do with the type of wrapper. Uh, as you can see, it's a very, very dark wrapper, so it's a Leggero, Leggero leaf. I'm butchering the name, and I apologize about that. Uh, gringo. <laughs> uh, let me go ahead and get this thing started. Be using my little punch like I've used in the past with you. And my little Zycar, a little ash can. Uh, there you go. Some good news for everybody. Over the last couple days, I have completed my first batch of Dapper Man Small Batch Beard Oil and Beard Balm. Uh, I'll be testing it over the next... Uh, week with a couple of, of uh, select testers and then I'll make another batch based off of the feedback that I get back from them uh, for another round of testing hopefully my goal is by the end of October mid-October to end of October to have something that I can actually offer you guys it'd be a small batch select um, Dapper Man beard oil and beard balm maybe even a beard wax we'll have to see so, uh, it is nearing the end of the week. It has been a, it's actually been a pretty good week. Um, as many of you know, I'm an IT consultant. Uh, my project is going well. It's actually based off the East Coast, and I'm actually in Colorado. So, um, for me, it's local time is 5.30, but it's actually about 7.30. I keep my, uh, keep my schedule on East Coast time. So, it is time to light the cigar. I'll go ahead and uh, give it a review for you. Sometimes I like to take a cold draw, kind of get some of the flavor of the cigar. Hmm. Tasty. I can't identify any of the specific notes for you, I apologize. Um, my palate just isn't that refined. All I can tell you is, it doesn't suck. It actually tastes pretty good. Uh, this is a bigger cigar. It's a 6x60. So I'll be smoking for a little bit. We gotta just toast the foot. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me just roll down the window just a bit. May get more noise, but that'll be okay. All right, looks pretty well lit. Picked up uh, three new cigars from my local tobacconist today. Um, I go in probably once a week, say hi to the guys, pick up some cigars. <clears throat> General rule, uh, it, for me anyway, is that if... Uh, you're within probably 10 miles of the tobacconist go in once a week uh if you're more than 10 miles but within like 50 maybe once every couple of weeks every two to three weeks at least once a month um you can still order stuff online but definitely support your local brick and mortar tobacconist <coughs> excuse me A little bit of spice. Actually, a lot of flavor in this thing. I like it. A little bit of spice, which is... I'm from New Mexico, so I always like spicy stuff. Uh, so far, just after lighting this thing, I like it. I'll let you know how, I, how it is as I go. Uh, 
more information for the uh, the Dapper Man. <coughs> uh, the website, thedapperman.org, is up and running. I'll be making some more modifications to it, adding some stuff. I'll be adding a section on beard care here in a little bit. Also, um, may start talking about men's fashion. Don't know about that. Also, we'll be uh, working on a book. Um, I don't know what it's going to be called yet, but basic idea is uh, the gentleman's code. Think of the bro code, but for gentlemen. And I want to talk about the characteristics of a gentleman. Uh, for example, honesty, integrity, um, thoughtfulness, stuff like that. And I'll give I'll go into detail about each one and why and how it actually helps make make you a better gentleman. Uh, may also be working on kind of a gentleman's law or gentleman's oath very similar to the old boy scout oath uh, but I'll keep you informed as, as those develop <clears throat> I am very excited I actually get to go tour the Kingsman Beard Club uh, over in Fruta Colorado this weekend they're having a festival and their store is actually going to be open so I'll actually be driving over there on Saturday to check them out other news, uh, let's see, just about to finish week three of my year, so uh, today is I think day 20, tomorrow will be day 21, obviously, and I think it's turning out pretty well. I've been using uh, the Club and Panade Beard Oil and Moisturizer, um, I'll give you an actual review on that officially later, but uh, it helps if you're not an idiot and actually read the instructions. The <laughs> uh, the, the little little um, container, little squeeze tube for the beard moisturizer conditioner it says conditioner. When somebody tells me it's a conditioner, I think of oh, you know, like you go you're in the shower, you wash your hair, conditioner. No, it's more of a moisturizer. So I was using it in the shower, and of course nothing was going on, nothing was happening. So I actually read the bottle. And, oh, look, it's, you're not supposed to use it in the shower. You're supposed to go ahead and, on a dry beard or damp beard, go ahead and use it more like a face moisturizer. So I've been using that. It seems to be working pretty well. Uh, but I'll give you a, a full review on that probably next uh, three or four days. Probably get posted over the weekend. Let's see. One of the few notes I can taste ever in a cigar is coffee. Definitely getting some dark coffee, but with this type of wrapper, that's expected. So, yeah. Uh, still just barely into the cigar, so this one's going to last me a while, which is good. It's been, I don't want to say it's been a long week, but it's just been... You know, it's Thursday, so the week's almost over. It's time to relax a little bit. Weather's finally getting a little bit nicer. Uh, where I am in western Colorado, uh, we get pretty hot in the summer. We're, we're a mile high, but we're a high desert. So, it, you know, high 90s, low 100s are not uncommon from June all the way through August, early September. Uh, it's just been the last week we've actually dropped down below 90 into the 80s. And tomorrow we're actually supposed to drop into the mid 70s, and then in a couple of days in the in the high 60s as the storm blows through, and then uh, mid 70s again. I may drive up over the mesa, uh, see some of the fall foliage. Uh, we have some aspen trees and some beautiful colors up there when uh, the fall starts coming in. And they're over, they're I think like 10,000 feet up there, so it'll be beautiful. Uh. That's really all that uh, is going on for now. Um, like I said, the website is up and running, thedapperman.org. Um, we are on Pinterest, uh, the Dapper Man US. We're on Facebook, the Dapper Man uh, US. On YouTube, uh, the Dapper Man. Twitter, the Dapper Man US. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys actually uh, try to find us and follow us. 
uh, give me feedback on the videos uh, please give us a like and a share um, <clears throat> excuse me so kind of my idea for the uh, the gentleman's code the idea is you know we talk about what it actually means to be a gentleman in today's digital society where fast paced everything's uh, social media um, so how do you deal with that as a gentleman uh, I like you know you walk so as an IT guy again I've been all over the country you walk down the streets of New York Chicago you know uh, Philly pretty much any big city people are just heads in their cell phones uh, they have their headphones on or they're walking and texting or whatever I got so bad that I think in London they've actually started putting up like phone bumpers so people uh, uh, around like trees and light poles and stuff uh, to prevent people from injuring themselves while walking and texting but so what does it mean to be a gentleman in today's society I think the first biggest thing is going to be honesty you got to be honest <clears throat> Uh, there's an old saying, my word is my bond. Old, old, old saying. And so, we'll start, I think that'll be, you know, chapter, probably chapter two. I'll do an introduction, then I'll do chapter two. Probably uh, ten traits or ten characteristics that make a gentleman a gentleman. And this is stuff that I've been thinking about for a while. I just actually got to articulate it, hopefully at least halfway decently, and write it down. Uh, why? Uh... Why am I doing this now? Um, why not? When I was in college, I had a professor that said, uh, when everybody, when anybody would ever ask him, hey, should I do this or should I wait? It's like, well, how long are you going to be if you wait? You know, it's, it's, it's going to take you two years to get this degree. How old are you going to be in two years? Okay. So in two years, you're either going to have the degree or you're not. Stop thinking about the age. Stop thinking about how it's going to take you that long. Just do it. And so that's kind of the impetus for all of this, uh, all this stuff here. Um, I was just watching YouTube, found the Sultan Silver and a couple other guys, and was like, you know what? It's time to grow a beard again. Uh, really grow it. I'll do the beard. Um, I'll see, you know, how it, you know, if and how it changes me. I'll create the channel. I'll actually start documenting stuff. And then it's like, you know what? I've always been fascinated with uh, the gentleman lifestyle, the vintage uh, lifestyle. When I say vintage, I, I think 40s, 50s. For example, I have a turntable. Uh, before I uh, started my beard, I would do the wet shave with the uh, safety razor. Uh, we'll do the straight razor. I'm just not steady enough with it to actually, you know, not hurt myself. Uh, <clears throat> but found a barber, you know. Uh, when I go to work, I usually wear a bow tie or at least a tie and a vest. Um, one of my favorite movies is actually The Intern, and it's with Robert De Niro and Anne Hathaway. And there's a scene about midway through where um, Anne Hathaway, Robert De Niro, and three other interns, young interns, uh, are at a bar. And Anne Hathaway makes a comment of how in two or three generations did we go from De Niro, who's the, I would call a gentleman in the movie, the suit, the well-kept hair, uh, opening doors for people, stuff like that, to the young interns that were your typical 20-something, you know, t-shirt and shorts and tennis shoes and, you know, how did we go from one to the other in just a couple generations? And that got me thinking, like, you know, how did we get here? So, what have we lost since, you know, in the last 50 years? Uh, I don't like talking about politics on these videos, but I will for just as an example. If you look at videos of Reagan and Bush Sr. talking about immigration and all this other stuff that we're still talking about today, their stances are further to the left than what we would consider a, a liberal person today. Um, I'll see if I can find the video and link it to you. But how, you know, since 80, how, you know, in the last 37 years, how have we gotten from there to here? And 
and so that's you know that's what I hope to maybe not answer but that's what I hope to talk about in this uh, gentleman's code book you know again faithful uh, faithfulness uh, integrity honesty thoughtfulness um, sincerity you know stuff like that well I've been rambling for about 15 minutes now I want to go ahead and stop I'll let you guys have your evening back uh, thanks for joining me for the cigar I bought a couple others Bought a couple others. This one is the uh, again by Rocky Patel. I bought another one called the Edge. It's a torpedo by Rocky Patel. <clears throat> and then I have a uh, Robusto from uh, CAO, one of the new Amazon uh, lines. Uh, I'll put links to uh, to both to all the cigars in the description. But again, thanks for joining me. Uh, again, check us out on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Pinterest. Uh, the Dapper Man US, of course, on YouTube, The Dapper Man. Please subscribe. I really do need more subscribers. Right now, I have two subscribers on YouTube. Uh, just subscribe just so you get notifications when I do a new video. Tell me what you want to talk about on these videos. Uh, right now, I'm just kind of making them up on the fly. I know a lot of it's been beard stuff, beard reviews. Want to uh, still do those, but make those a little bit less of a, you know, maybe only do one or two a week instead of three or four. Also, I hope to have the Dapper Lass, uh, my girlfriend, on the videos, hopefully pretty quickly. I uh, want to ha get her perspective on the beard, the yeard, you know, has she noticed any changes in my personality since then. Um, <clears throat> I'll take some pictures and some videos of the uh, Kingsman Beard Club office in Fruta. Uh, but again, if you like these videos, please subscribe, uh, follow me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, follow me on uh, Facebook, join us on the website. Um, on the website, I will be asking for testers for the new beard oil and beard balm. Uh, it does, so please be in the United States so I can actually ship to you easily. Uh, and just be aware that they do have um, uh, coconut oil, jojoba oil argan oil and sweet almond oil and uh, uh, that's in the beard oil in the beard balm it is mostly beeswax and shea butter and then some essential oils like cinnamon and a couple other things but I'm not going to give away my recipes too much I know I just gave a lot of it away but that's okay these are only uh, prototypes but yeah I'll, uh, I'll make a um, I'll make a a uh, page on the website and probably on Facebook where you can contact me if you want to actually test out some of these products. The goal is to make, once a quarter, make some small batch select beard bombs and beard oils. Uh, not a lot, maybe. We'll probably start out with 50 to 100 bottles and uh, uh, a beard oil and 50 to 100 tins of beard bomb. I'll make some nice packaging for them and then sell them online. Again, uh, they're going to be just once a quarter. Once they're gone, they're gone. Select um, select batches. Kind of like your uh, select whiskey, your small batch whiskey, stuff like that. Um, if there's ultra high demand, I may go back and make a recipe again. But the goal is once a quarter, make a new recipe, something that kind of reflects that time of the year. So your first one is going to be autumn spice, and that should be arriving uh, hopefully mid to late October. So, I hope you have a fantastic day. Last time I'm going to plug everything. Please check us out on Facebook, The Dapper Man US. Uh, please check us out on Twitter and on Pinterest, The Dapper Man US. And then, of course, the website, thedapperman.org. Um, and then follow us. I need more subscribers. Share these videos. Um, help us build the brand. Let us know what you want to talk about. But... I think that's it for me now. I'm going to go ahead and finish this uh, cigar. Actually, really even start the cigar. I've been talking so much, hasn't really done anything. I haven't had a chance to smoke it. But I hope you have a fantastic evening uh, or whatever's left of your day. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye.